So, first thing first, the rat was placed on the dissecting tray. We can see there are cranial region or head, cervical region or neck, pectoral region which is area where front legs attach, thoracic region which is chest area, abdom abdomen or belly, and pelvic region which is the area where back legs attach. After that, we carefully remove the skin and muscles of the rat to expose the organs beneath. Okay, then let's take a look at the respiratory system. There is trachea, which is passage for air passed to the lungs. The trachea is a tube that extends from the neck to the chest. It is wide and lined with cartilage. There are also lungs and diaphragm that is also an important organ for breathing. Then we move to the digestive system. There are esophagus which runs through the diaphragm and move food from the, the mouth to the stomach. Bile blood which conveys bile from the liver and the gallbladder to the duodenum. Stomach on the right side just under the liver. Spleen which is about the same color as the liver and is attached to the greater curvature of the stomach. Pancreas which is a thin membrane that may be white and granular. Jejunum, duodenum, ileum. Cecum which is a pouch that connected the large and small intestine. Descending colon, rectum and anus. And there, are also, there is also hydrochloric splinter that will help the stomach to digest the food and kills the bacteria that the rat ingests together with the food. Let's take a look to the circulatory system. There are liver, heart, and aorta arch. This aorta arch is the segment of the aorta that helps to distribute blood to the head and upper extremities. Lastly, there are also parts that cannot be seen there, which is urogenital system. This is to differentiate between male rat and female rat. So for uh, for male rat, there will be testes which are located in the scrotal sac, and for rat uh, for female rat, there will be short gray tube lying dorsal to the urinary bladder, which we call it as vagina. I will first talk about the step and method to dissect red. Then I will explain about the internal and external anatomy of the red, at the same time explaining the function of body system of red. Then I will proceed to the physiology characteristic of red and proceed to the last part, which are the moral and etiquette on how to dissect live specimen. First, we need to identify all the external structure that visible on the head, thorax, and abdomen of the rat. Next, observe the mouth cavity and teeth of the rat. Then, use the string to fasten the limbs of the rat. Pick up the skin in the middle of the ventral surface using forceps and cut the skin toward to the bottom of the wrist and then in the other direction to the genital openings. Use dissecting pins to pin out the skin of the rat to the dissecting box. Then, peel the abdominal wall to expose the abdominal organs. Abdominal organs were removed after observation. Then, observe the other organs inside the body and identify all the structure in place. Plus, a mid-ventral cut is due on the chest cavity to cut forward through the diaphragm muscle and breast bone up to the under of the chin to expose the respiratory system. Then, cut away the ribs to observe the heart. After the dissection of red, wash all the utensils you use with soap. And all parts of the wrap must be wet in newspaper and placed in a dedicated plastic garbage bag. And then, when all waste material is collected, double bag for disposal. If blood is present on the things that you use, for example for like utensil, immediately soak in disinfectant. Otherwise, wash the equipment in hot soapy water and rinse in dish water to minimize handling. And disinfect the workplace and wash your hands throughout. It. Now, I will talk about the external anatomy and also the internal anatomy of red. At the same time, I will explain the function of each body system found in the red. So, the red's body is divided into six anatomical regions, which is the cranial region, cervical region, pectoral region, thoracic region, abdomen, and pelvic region. The red have long tube, usually were longer in female than in male, and the tube have the important role for heat loss and used as a balance organ. Next, the fusiform body is covered by hair except on nose, palm, and lips. And the hair is divided into two classes, with long shaft and without long shaft. So, both front and hind limbs have five digits. For internal anatomy of red, I will start from digestive system. 
So it consists of oral cavity and tongue which helps in swallowing and moving the bolus from the mouth into the pharynx. It also has hyaluronic teeth which means there are four functionally different types of teeth which are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. The flat incisors are for cutting, canines for tearing fresh, premolar and molars are used for tearing and crushing food while having a flat guiding surface. Besides, the digestive system also consists of pharynx, esophagus, stomach, and decliser are found in red stomach too, which is used to grind up difficult to digest food, making it particularly useful to animals that lack of teeth. And it also consists of small intestine, which divided into three sections, which are duodenum, ileum, and jejunum. The small intestine leads to the cacium, and the cacium are used to digest the cellulose. And large intestine and rectum also found in the digestive system of the rat. Besides, rat also have liver, gallbladder, and pancreas for their digestive system too. The pancreas is to produce the digestive enzyme and also to secrete the insulin, which is important in the regulation of glucose metabolism. Next, it will be respiratory system of rat. The respiratory system of rat is made out of internal and external nostril, nasal chamber, crotis, larynx, trachea, bronchus, and lungs. And the lungs of rat are divided into a single left lobe and four right lobes. The four right lobes consist of crania, meter, caudal, and post caudal lobes. And the exchange of gases in rat is through the outline in their lungs, which same as human. For circulatory system, it consists of veins, arteries, and heart. And in veins will carry the deoxygenated blood back to the heart and lungs, while the lungs will re-oxygenate the blood and the heart will bounce it back to the rest of the body. Well, for excretory system in red, it consists of helix, adrenal body, urethra, and urethra. Next, for the male reproductive system, the testes are paired, oval in shape and small in size. And the epididymis is divided into three regions, which are the capital epididymis, corpus epididymis, and cauda epididymis. It also consists of uber natura, the vas deferens, which moves the sperm for the epididymis to the urethra, seminal vesicle, prostate glands, and corpus glands. For female reproductive system, it consists of ovary, infarticulum, phalampian tube, uterus, vagina, and clitoris. Well, for the muscular system in red, you can see the complete muscular system shown by the picture. Moving on to the last discussion part, which are the moral and etiquette on how to dissect live specimen. So, some guidelines must be followed when live animals are used in the classroom. So, for the first one, vertebrate animals can be used as experimental organisms in the following situation, which are the observation of normal living patterns of wild animals in their natural habitat or in zoological parks. Second, observation of normal living functions such as feeding, growth, reproduction, and activity cycle. Third, the observation of biological phenomena among and between species such as communication, reproductive, and life strategy behavior or interrelationship of organisms. Next, the experimental procedures on water breast should not be used any pathogenic microorganisms, ionized radiation, carcinogens, drugs or chemicals at toxic level which will produce adverse effects which will cause the pain or any alcohol in any form, electric shock, exercise until exhaustion or other distressing stimuli. No experimental procedure should be attempted that will subject vertebrate animals to pain or distinct discomfort or if indifferent with their health in any way. So, the use of live animals in science fair project shall be in accordance with the above guidelines. In addition, no live vertebrate animals should be used in this place for science fair exhibitions.